Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Focus Talk number 34 of 2016. Prune, prune your old self. self. Last weekend, I went visiting an orange farmer. As he motioned to me to enter the farm through the small gate, I saw him pruning and clipping old branches and leaves from the orange trees. It caught my attention. Why would he be reducing branches from the orange trees? One would expect that the more branches a tree, a tree has, the greater the harvest of oranges. I asked him about it and before long, he was lost deep into an explanation spree. He explained how removal of old branches and leaves was useful in maximizing the fruit bearing ability of the orange trees. That the old branches and leaves were competing for the same nutrients responsible for fruit bearing. That pruning eliminates the unnecessary competition for nutrients and brings out the maximum potential of the orange tree in fruit bearing. The explanation was amazing. I immediately switched into reflection mode. We, just like the orange tree, have got potential within us. Could it be that we harbor old habits that hinder us from maximizing our potential? Could it be that our laziness and love for extra sleep is an old branch that needs to be pruned? Could it be that the movies we watch and music we listen to are old branches to be pruned? Could it be that we are holding on to old company that is hardly adding any value to our progress? That company could be a branch for pruning. Which are these old branches that are blocking you from bearing the fruits that you are created to bear? When last were you deliberate about pruning your old bad habits that are irrelevant in your growth today? Chances are high that we are guilty of holding on to old branches that add no value to us. Old habits that may have been useful back in the day, but not anymore. It is possible that your business is not performing as well because you are holding on to old ways of doing business. I put it to you that that business has greater potential than what it does today. You too have massive potential than you have ever imagined. It is time to change tact. It is time to become deliberate about knowing the old branches to eliminate from your life. More rests within you. More rests in your business. More rests in your ministry. And more rests in your career. All you need is to prune the unwanted old branches in your life. Because you can do better. This is Roy Okonji inspiring progressive change.